Hi guys, this is Liz and welcome back to Kamara's Place. Honestly speaking, I wouldn't even call this a makeup tutorial. It's just me messing around. So if you guys are interested in how I got this look, continue to watch this video. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace. <laughs> I like to start off my makeup with sunscreen. The one I'm using today is from Black Girl Sunscreen. 45 SPF, great for a matte finish. I apply the rest of my sunscreen off camera. Now onto our primer. Both of them are from e.l.f. The first one is their Poreless Putty. And the second one is their Oil Control Mist Spray. I think that's what it's called, a mist primer. Next, I like to apply primer to my lids, even if I'm not going to be doing eyeshadow. For my brows, honestly, I don't really do that much. The only thing I do is to gel it down. I'm using the CoverGirl Eyebrow Gel in clear, and then I use my spoolie to shape it, and then I fill it in. Midway through filming this, I thought, what if I did blonde eyebrows? And that's exactly what I did. Um, so I'm using the lightest concealer that I have. It's from ColourPop. All of the information will be in the description box. I go ahead and I fill it in my brows. I don't really care to have it be neat because I'm going to clean it up later. Um, so I repeat this process multiple times because I wanted it to be like OD blonde, like super blonde. Like I don't got no eyebrows type of blonde, okay? I then use my usual concealer from Juvia's Place to clean it up. Oh, I also raise up my eyebrows a lot when I'm doing it just so it's easier for me to clean it up. An alternative for cleaning if you don't want to use concealer is cotton swab. It's less messier and it gives you more control. Since I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I blend in the same concealer I use to clean my brows for my lid. So y'all about to see why I don't do makeup content, yeah? Because I am horrible at eyeliner. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta take a moment and pray that you don't F it up and just trust the process. So here we go. Doing an asymmetrical design and then lining our lash line. I then go in with the same concealer to clean up any of the dots. Now setting spray. So a new technique I started using before I would do all the steps and then just use setting spray at the finish. But now you're going to see me like spray my face with setting spray after each step. And that is so it can work instead of waiting until the end. Now for my mascara, I use my L'Oreal mascara and then like I like to take a moment and curl the lashes upward with my finger for maybe like 15 seconds for those days where I don't have a curler and I don't want to look for it. Personally, I, I prefer to use a beauty blender when applying my foundation, but the foundation is from Urban Decay. I didn't realize it would take a long time for the, the concealer on my eyebrows to dry, so when I went to go pat my forehead, it came off so I had to use the brush to apply my foundation without having it run into my brows. After cleaning up my brows, I'm going to spray my setting spray again and then pat it in with my beauty blender and then go ahead and contour. Now it's time for us to contour, baby. One thing about me, I am going to contour the fuck out of my forehead and my cheeks. Right? And then I just blend it into my hairline in an upward motion. Now for my nose. I prefer to use a smaller brush to draw the line and then use a contour brush to blend it out just because it gives me more control. But honestly, I don't care to have my nose look contour or smaller. I just do it for the aesthetic. And then I do the same thing. I just blend it out. Once I feel like I've been contoured enough, I go ahead and do my highlight. To highlight, I'm using a concealer that is two shade lighter, but not as light as the one that I have in my eyebrows. I place the concealer places that I want it to be, so under my eye, between my nose and my mouth, head, and then I spray again with the setting spray to set it. Then I give it a minute and I go in and then I go ahead and blend my concealer. And now you guys are gonna see me realize that I forgot to put concealer on my nose. I don't know why, but baking has been my favorite part of doing makeup. I, I just, I don't know why. I just, I find it relaxing, right? I got this from Juvia's Place in the medium tone. I, maybe it's just my eyes, but I kind of look orange when I use this one. So I might go back to my translucent shade. 
I let it sit in for a good minute and then I use my beauty blender to press in the powder instead of using a brush to like brush it away so you guys can't see this in the video but I struggle a lot with my eyebrows and the dots over my eyes because it kept running down every time I would spray setting spray but my top three places to get makeup are elf miss shop a and then I have a subscription called tribe beauty box this is not a sponsor video they give you like great indie makeup things and that's how I discover a lot of like new makeup products to use so check it out if that's your cup of tea bronzer from Juvia's Place. Like I said, it's not a sponsor ad. I used a lighter shade and applied it in a number three motion, starting from my forehead to my chin. Blush is also from Juvia's Place. If there's one thing y'all can get from this video is try orange blush at least one time and tell me it's not the best thing you ever done for yourself. I, that, that, that's all I'm going to say when it comes to blush. Try it one time. One time. Chef kiss. <laughs> The highlighter is from Normad. Girl, my camera was not doing it justice. When I tell you, I say, this is a lovely lavender color. I apply some to my nose and I use my finger to like uh, blend it out so it doesn't look compacted and like weird gray grayish color. Y'all, I am sorry. I like to do my makeup while listening to grime and R&B music, but your girl is not trying to get copyrighted. And it, so if y'all see me moving around, that's what I'm listening to. Like, before I go in with my setting spray, I like to clean up any places that I feel like I don't really like. So if my eyebrows wasn't blonde enough, I would have went in with concealer. I fixed my dots, you know, anything I feel like needed to be fixed, I fixed it. So in this exact clip, I'm listening to Monster by Ye, but I low-key only listen to this song for Nicki Minaj part. Anyone who has heard this part, I know y'all clicked to 3 minute and 35 seconds because that's where you hear. Pull up in the Sri Lanka. What? Y'all want Several song filled hours later. For the lips. Listen, babes. I am a liner and gloss kind of girl. So if y'all coming on my page thinking I'm about to put y'all on to, to the lipstick combo, you <laughs> y'all got the wrong one. I'm gonna tell you where to get some cheap, nice lip liner and some gloss. Okay, but this for this look, I wanted to go for like you know my usual '90s kind of vibe or whatever. But the liner is from Nengma Tang. She had a collab with Dose of Color. Both of the glosses I got from Family Dollar. I don't really care. Honestly, I don't really care to overline my lip, nor do I need to. Y'all tell me why I couldn't find my damn lash glue. So y'all, y'all just gonna have to pretend I'm wearing some lashes right now and call it a day because I was not about to re-record this video just because I couldn't find my lash glue. Mm -mm. I'm a hustler, but no. After I'm done with everything, I use my setting spray for the last time and I pat it in with my beauty blender and that's pretty much it. Juvie's Place, sponsor your girl. Okay, bye. Okay guys, that is the, this is the final look. Um, all the products that I've used will be in the description box. Yes, yeah, so let me know if you guys are interested in me doing more makeup content. I'm not a makeup artist, I just started doing makeup this year, but that's beside the point. But that's, <laughs> this is the final look, like I said. Um, thank you for watching this video, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Bye!